Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Aquarius. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Sorry, Aquarius, I'm just like really sucked into these cards today because it's a new deck that I'm introducing today, the Light Seer's Tarot. Um, and I'm just like really captivated by the imagery in them, loving, exploring uh, a new set of imagery. So, um, as I said in the Capricorn reading, I don't know if this, if this deck is going to be around for a while on the channel or if I'll be back to my three decks tomorrow. I have no idea. Um, I just go with whatever deck is speaking to me on any given day. So today the light seers step forward for you. So, um, and a, a gorgeous message that I'm receiving here for you. I'm loving it so much. So Aquarius, we're beginning here with the world card. Look at this gorgeousness, right? This is you um, in an amazing, in an amazing, in the midst of an amazing manifestation, in the midst of a massive orchestration that feels like it is completely generated by you is how I'm feeling with the sun card as well. I mean, you're coming through Aquarius as being in this exceptional place right now. The world and the sun card beginning your reading is talking to me about taking all sorts of inspiration you may be receiving from higher aspects and manifesting it because we're coming out with like look at these three cards to begin your reading the magician the world the sun the magician i'm just seeing you as like a master master manifester is how it's coming through it's like you're able to take the energy of the cosmos the energy of life and harness it through you and create create entire worlds is what it's coming through as today or at least create your world in exact in like in perfection you have mastered the art of creation it's beautiful though there's something coming through this magician card you can see how there's like there's kind of an hourglass symbol you know, of course, it's as above, so below the infinity symbol, but there's something about the lower half of the hourglass today for you talking about time. It's like there, it's, something's about to shift for you because there's something about him or you sitting right at this cross point in the hourglass where you're about to spill into a new realm of experience. And it's... It's tied to your creation or your your abilities, tied to your creational abilities, but it's like you can't see it yet because you're still you haven't gone through that transition point yet, but it's like it's like you're right there, you're right about to come through there. And then with the page of pentacles coming next, I was receiving this gorgeous message actually about you and your ability to create. It's like this magician energy here talking about kind of harnessing the energetics, harnessing the, the light, harnessing energy of the cosmos. It's almost like a, like a plant in, in photosynthesis. It's like you're taking the energy of the sun and actually creating real things out of it. If that makes any sense, right? So you're, you're this master harnesser of energy, one who can take something, an idea and bring it into physical being. That's what I'm seeing with this page of pentacle, because this pentacle, this page of pentacle, I was getting this beautiful message of her. I think it's a woman, her, um, kind of doing this dance or this ritual, uh, with this, with this magician energy, it's like the magician's ritual that what it is that you do to, bring your ideas to life to bring forth manifestation. It's like you have some sort of a ritual that you engage in. You could be a dancer actually, because so what I was saying is she's standing in 
this clearing in the forest, but it's like there's something about holding on to this idea that you're receiving and moving with it, like dancing. And in the dancing, it's, it's creating, it's so beautiful. It's almost like this, it's almost like your body being like, like a pen that is moving, you know, those, um, spirographs. It's like your movements. It could just be talking about you moving through your life, not necessarily, you know, some sort of a craft or a visual expression that you're making, but I'm seeing almost like if you're looking at um, like Google Maps from above and tracking your movements through your town for that day. And it's almost like this spirograph of, of pattern being created that is lining everything up and organizing all of the elements that will eventually lead to this energy here, this kind of full completion where everything comes together into a creation point. What I was going to say about the forest here, it's like your movements clear out gradually. They clear and create a space for this energy to actually be visible by others. It's almost like clearing the debris, clearing the energetics to reveal the sacred geometry. It's really profound. So somebody's going to understand what I'm talking about, but it's like your movements your ritual, your routines are being informed by the cosmos. You're fully aware of it. You know exactly what you're doing and it's creating like an imprint on the planet here. You see what I'm saying? And then which actually then turns into like an actual physical object or a physical, like an experience or an event, something like that, where it's tangible and viewable by others is what I'm what I'm trying to get at right so it's like from pure energetic into actual physical matter it's really beautiful so interesting Aquarius four of cups coming out next and I'm loving this card actually you may not love it so much but what I'm seeing here is that you are in such perfection in your ability to create your life that you're actually kind of bored. It's like, yeah, I know, I know how to do this. I've been doing it for quite some time. I kind of have everything that I want. Your life is going really well. You're almost kind of running out of ideas on what you could create next. It's like, I don't, I don't really know what to do next. I kind of have it all. Everything that I've set out for myself, I've danced into being already. It's amazing, right? So you sitting here in this bored energy, with the four of cups very much talking about like looking at surveying everything that you've done up to this point and be feeling a little bit uninspired right so king of king of wands coming out next when i first saw this this guy approaching or this this one approaching doesn't have to be male or female swap it around you know, with this ace, with this fourth cup, the ace of cups coming in on this side, coming in with the king of wands, at first I was thinking, ah, well, at least maybe there's a new love interest approaching. It's like you're kind of in a, in a place where you're reaching for the next thing and then somebody appears. How beautiful is that, right? But Aquarius, he also came in with the seven of swords. The seven of swords energy and the fact that Combined with this seven of swords and the fact that he's kind it feels to me almost like he's coming up behind you and there's something about the wand. There's something about this wand and the approach of the energy that feels to me like staking claim with his wand here. It's like he marches into your life and he stakes his claim and I feel like you know who this is. I feel like you know who this is. This very much feels like somebody you've already had an encounter with, an unpleasant encounter with, right? And the reason why I say that is because this seven of swords came out with the three of wands next to it. And I was just talking about in the Capricorn reading, and I'm always saying about how the, the energies blend one reading into the next. So this is a little bit of the Capricorn energy blending into the Aquarius reading. 
the Three of Wands began the Capricorn reading and it was talking about this Three of Wands being a nostalgia for an earlier time, a nostalgia for a more spontaneous, free-flowing point in your in in Capricorn's life. But for you, I feel like you're already like very in the flow. So that's not it's not talking about that for you, but it is talking about um, an earlier time, a, an earlier time when you've encountered this King of Wands who the last time you met them, they snuck up from behind as well, right? It's like there's something, there's something, there's some sort of a lack of integrity with this one. It's like they march into your life, staking claim, um, feeling entitled, you know, with the Seven of Swords. It's like sneaking up behind you, wanting to take your surfboard, take your tool, for flow, right? With the magician energy. It's like they seem to want what you have, what you've created or your abilities. They're envious of your abilities. And so they, it's almost like they, they just, they want it for themselves, but they may not be saying that. Of course, they're not coming in and saying, Hey, Aquarius, you're gorgeous. Everything that you touch turns to gold. And I want that. They're not being upfront about it. So it's it's kind of a, a covert energy that the cards are showing me. I mean, he may be approaching, you know, he may be really gorgeous and really attractive, but the energy behind it is entitlement and lack of integrity. And you already know them. It's like, so when, when they appear, your energy seems to kind of be like you again, really? Like we know this. We know that we've done this. We know this, right? It's like, anyway, so, but what I am absolutely loving here, Aquarius, is these next two cards that come up for you in response to this tap on your shoulder, if you want to call it that, with his sword, right? So, the strength card and the death and rebirth energy. And what I'm seeing here. You see this this um this king of wands has the has the lion behind him right so there's something here about you know because he's sneaking up behind you tapping you on the shoulder or stabbing you in the back however you want to interpret this this energy this dynamic and it's like when you when you turn around to to see to observe what's approaching you and this is your view. So this is you turning towards them. And there's something, it's like you're seeing kind of past them. See how she's got this lion? It's almost like you're receiving something and looking at them. You're looking, you're receiving a massive epiphany awareness coming in for you. Perhaps about this next realm. It's like it's just coming into view because he's appeared. There's something about that. You turn towards them and it's like you look in their eyes. And when you make eye contact with them, it's like you're blasted into a download of some sort. That it's like you're seeing beyond. It's like you're with this magician energy. Like I was saying here, it's like you're at this, this crossroad threshold point, but you haven't been made aware of what this next realm is yet, but it's like, this is, this is getting a glimpse through that, through that portal. You're seeing the next realm starting to come into view for you, right? And it's somehow triggered by them because it feels like, you know, you're kind of bored. You're kind of uncertain. You're standing within this gorgeous life that you've created and there's something about this one arriving in your life, feeling entire, entitled, maybe demanding a lot from you, maybe saying that you owe them something. And when you turn and look at them, it's kind of this like, okay, take it. You can have it all. I'm leaving, right? Because this comes, these two cards coming out next, the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, right? So this is him here. You're pretty much saying, go ahead, take it. I give it freely. Take it all. I have no attachment to it. You have no attachment to it, first of all, because you were bored and looking for something new anyway, and you have no attachment to it because you just 
gotten the epiphany what's now you just saw it and so you're like fine take it i'm out it's like no attachment you're moving on like not looking back not feeling you're actually feeling really to me you're feeling really free and inspired again which is exactly what you want so it's like they oh they came in with this nasty energy almost intending to derail you because it feels like they're jealous and they want what you have and they're not evolved enough to just know how to either do it for themselves or how to be in cooperation like how to be kind and 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 in partnership with you and therefore you would freely share everything that you have like they don't they don't understand that but it's like you're you're giving it to them anyway and so they're feeling really victorious with this king of of um pentacles here here the look on his face is like he feels like he won or he got the better of you or it's like it, it feels like this really possibly narcissistic energy where it's like they don't want to see you have anything beautiful and so they swept in fully intending to destroy it or derail it and they didn't expect that you were just going to freely hand it over it's like you're going here take it and so they they think that they have succeeded in not only derailing you because you've walked out but they also gained by by taking your manifestation you see what i'm saying your pentacles but you know better it's like you're on you're off to something to some new thing that is way more compelling to all of this anyway because than all this anyway because it's like the experience the energy of it was already spent for you it's like you already you've already been through the whole experience of it there was nothing left in it for you anyway and you were about to move on anyway but this king of wands seven of swords energy kind of just perfectly came up and gave you the shove that you needed to bring this epiphany in for you for you to go for you to move on so they actually really helped you. They brought you the next new idea and they brought you the realization that you have no attachment to any of this because with the seven of pentacles ending here, it's like, you know, that it's not, it's not the creation itself because you, because you understand this process, because you know exactly how to create anything from scratch, anything that you desire. It's like you have the ability to create anything you want. So why would you care about walking away from this manifestation that has already expanded as far as it's going to go? It's fully realized because it's the act of creation that is life-giving, that feels empowering and vital to you. And so once the creation is done and you're sitting within it, that's what this energy is, it's like you're realizing that you are a creator and so you can't sit within a creation for very long because the energy there isn't isn't fulfilling to you because you're a creator you need to continue to create so you're realizing that it's like go ahead you can have everything that i've created because i am a creator the seven of pentacles is like wherever you go you're going to just create the next new thing in fact you're that's the whole point it's almost like Aquarius, maybe you didn't know that. Maybe that's what this is. You didn't realize that fully until you looked at them wanting your stuff and you it, it occurred to you, that's fine because I, I have infinite ability to create stuff. So you can have this. It, it, it has no impact on me. It has no impact on me and I'm, I'm off to the next, I'm off to the next creation. It's really beautiful. So like I said, Aquarius, it's like, it's like that's the epiphany coming in for you. It's like you've spent your whole life creating a perfect scenario. It's like this goal you've had your mindset on all of this time through your whole life. You've been working towards this specific goal and you've attained it. That's what this is talking about here. It's like you finally reached everything that was on your vision board has been created and then you're sitting within it saying okay i've arrived now what do i do but it was like this one big creation that you've been creating for as long as you knew you could create 
And this is the first time it feels like that's what this epiphany is, where you realize that you can just do it again. Because part of the reason that it took as long as it did this time is because you were perfecting your abilities and, and understanding the mechanism of creation and understanding that you're a creator. And it's like, so now that's all clicked into place for you. And it doesn't have to take a lifetime now to create the next thing, right? So it's like you're 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 off you're off to the next new thing. And he's here thinking that he won some prize or something. And you're just like completely unattached and unaware of him whatsoever. You're off to some new beautiful thing. So Aquarius, I'm going to continue to pull cards, create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.